Okay, folks, let's go ahead and continue creating our uh, motion design. And in this lesson, we're going to be creating the first part of those small cubes. So what I've done here uh, in between lessons, I just went ahead and imported this uh, model. Let's go ahead and hide everything else. And here's the model that we have. And it simply is, uh, as you can see, we have some small cubes. I can go ahead and maybe select this guy here. You see, let's go ahead and maybe select this guy. You see, it's just very small cubes. You can go ahead and uh, uh, as I uh, showed you in our uh, previous lesson, I just went ahead and created a whole cube and I imported it here. And then I just simply uh, created a fracture object, okay? And put all of these small cubes into that fracture object and rename the fracture object to small cubes zero one and make sure the fracture object under object and under mode is set to explode segments and connect, okay? So that's what we need to do for the moment. So let's go ahead and uh, unhide everything else. Now what I wanna do, as you can see uh, right now, it's in here, which is perfect. And as you can see, uh, the position of this uh, guy is at 195, 195, and negative 195. I'm just going to create a null and uh, I'm not going to animate this fractures objects, um, uh, you know, position or rotation wise. I'm just going to add a plane effector and work on it. But uh, in order to kind of be able to have a better motion, if you wanted to kind of individually move it, I'm going to uh, make it to be a, a child of a null. So let's go ahead and create a null. And I'm going to put a uh, null pivot point exactly at this uh, center point, which is, let me just, uh, it's a 195, 195, and negative 195. So 195, 195, and negative 195. Okay. So the null is exactly at this point, which is perfect. And we're going to just rename this thing maybe to small cubes. And we're going to put this fracture under this null. Okay. Now we have this null exactly at the center point. And the next thing is we are actually going to put this to be a parent of our cube number eight. So let's go ahead and put it down here. Perfect. And now we have our uh, cube. And if we move it, the whole thing will move. Now it's time to actually go ahead and add some effector so we can actually move those small cubes. So we have this um, fracture object and Let's go ahead and add the uh, effector. So I'm gonna go to my MoGraph effectors and let's go ahead and add a plane effector. So let's go ahead and add a plane. I'm gonna open up the camera and put this plane effector uh, here. So it's a child of our null and our cube and it moves as we move the uh, whole uh, structure. And let's go ahead and work on this uh, plane for just rename that small cubes zero one and we're just gonna make sure that it has been added perfect let's go to the uh, plane effector I'm going to first of all change this to be a linear fall off I'm gonna get out of the camera and let's kind of see where is our there we go here is our plane effector I'm just going to kind of rotate the things a bit. So as you can see now, we can see those small cubes. Perfect. Let's go ahead and kind of maybe rotate them this way. Just going to make it a bit bigger. And now let's go ahead and change some of the parameters for this plane effector. So under parameters, uh, I think something like this, maybe something like this, not too much really, but just let's go maybe on X, we need to go through a bit and on Y a bit more. I'm going to enable my rotation and rotate them as they kind of rest in their final position. So let's go ahead and maybe change this guys to something like that. And also I'm going to enable my scale, uniform scale and put it negative one. Perfect. And now we can simply go ahead and animate our plane effector and get this motion. Okay, perfect. Nice. Now what I want to do is to kind of hide this cube eight because we don't need it. And I'm going to enable the uh, other pieces that we have here. Perfect. 
Now, if you take a look, we can go ahead and simply animate this cube. I'm going to go ahead to my camera and see what exactly we have if I move this guy. So if I come down here, uh, okay, okay, it's not too bad. Especially the camera is still moving, so we're going to be finishing it in a place like this. So there we go. So perfect. Nice. So let's go ahead and animate the plane effector. So I'm going to select the plane effector, go to the coordinate manager and create a keyframe for, for the X and Y and Z. And this position is going to be at about maybe let's go to something like 30. And as you can see, it moves. So it, it should be finished by about frame 70. So let's go ahead and uh, select our plane effector. I am hoping that I can kind of uh, move it. So let's go ahead and get out of the camera for a moment. Now let's move it on Z. Perfect. Let's go ahead and animate them, uh, create a keyframe. If I get back to the camera, and if you take a look, so here's the motion that we have. Okay. Perfect. Um, the only problem, uh, it's actually perfect. Yeah, so about frame 30, so we hit play. And okay, that's perfect. Now we are going to be continuing, and in the next lesson, we're going to be creating uh, another part of our motion design. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna, first of all, let's go ahead and save this scene, and uh, we continue our, uh, less, our course uh, from our next lesson. So see you there.